Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Monday? I am doing quite well, but whew, did I have a weekend? Oh, as you could tell from the title, probably the thumbnail, I haven't made that yet, but probably Bam Margera is back in the picture. So the last time that I had in-person contact with Bam was before he got charged or whatever with activities. And then there was this whole entire sideshow with Krusty Lynn Margera tweeting about me, making allegations. Then there was Steve-O, the failed clown, making videos about me and Bam. All kinds of things have happened. We did put out those three parts of the interview that we already had the footage for with Bam on BJ Investigates channel. So if you missed those somehow, they're over there. Well, I was kind of laying low. I was kind of trying to just let Bam sort out whatever Bam needed to sort out over there with his family and legal troubles and things. Like, I'm not trying to impose on somebody's life. The first time I interviewed Bam is because he showed up on his Instagram account asking to be interviewed. So I obliged, but I'm not about to chase that man down by any means. Well, fast forward to this past Saturday. So the day before yesterday, I was minding my own business, making a music video to go with the new Punjabi song that I just wrote. That's coming out soon too. I could block you from the game in a heartbeat. It's a billion views. It's only one of me. If you want to catch me, better in a star fleet. Make sure y'all support my music. But I'm literally, I had both of my green screens up in here. I was recording. I was going. I was doing. Minding my business. Not on the internet. Not messing with nobody. I actually put a sign on my door that said I'm recording so nobody in my house would mess with me. Well, the sign didn't do nothing because I looked at my phone and when I looked at it, I saw that I'd had a text message from Bam from like 30 minutes before. So he text messaged me like nine or 10 o'clock on Saturday and said, I have to go back to LA tomorrow. I need to come back and do another interview today. It's kind of important. I have some really important things to say. And he said, I'm not drinking this time. I'm sober. I haven't been drinking and I have some things that I need to say. I don't know when I'm going to be back on the East Coast. So that scared me a little bit. Obviously, it wasn't in my plans to interview him on Saturday. And he was basically an hour or two away from my house. But he doesn't know when he's going to be back on the East Coast. I don't know when he'll have a chance to say what he wants to say again. And so I obliged. I put my green screens down. I called one of my team members over to my house. We set up the audio. We set up the podcast. And there will be another Bam Margera interview coming soon. So yeah, I mean, what, what I can say, what I can tell y'all as an update right now, it was a very different experience to interview him this third time than the first two times. The first two times, as y'all know, he was drinking. He had had something to drink. Additionally, the first two times he came over in the afternoon to evening time of the day. And this time he came over during the broad daylight. He had notes prepared. He had everything organized, what he wanted to touch on. He had written down bullet point lists of things that he already mentioned. And he even told me, he said, look, if I'm going to start going off on stuff that I already said, just tell me because I want to talk about new different stuff this time. And I have some important things to say, whatever, whatever. I said, okay, cool. Great. No problem. It was a beautiful day. We go up to the room and he talked about some stuff. I think that the biggest standout for me that I can report to y'all is that he just seemed to be in better spirits. He seemed to be in a better mood. He seemed to be more clear headed and he seemed to want to be a lot more involved in the production aspect of the podcast insofar as leading the topics of discussion, which I happily allowed him to do. Some of the topics that y'all can expect to see in the interview do include asking him about how and why his face ended up on a billboard in virtual reality hell. I asked him if he ever used Lima's virtual reality technology, which he will answer in the upcoming video. He did discuss a little bit about Phoenix and some of the ways that he's going to alter and adjust his behavior in order to hopefully be able to see Phoenix more. He talked about wanting to kind of, at least to some extent, make amends with Nikki so that he can have a better and more consistent relationship in Phoenix's life. He briefly mentioned the custody battles and lawsuits and child support things, you know, having to do with Nikki. And he did discuss and tell me the reason that he had to go back to the West Coast, which did partially have to do with hopefully being able to see Phoenix. Now, we did have another video planned to come out this week, and that one had to do with the Takali twins, Dia and Dahlia, as well as Lima, 
their sister allegedly or whatever. That video is recorded, but we are going to put that one down the line in order to try and get that Bam Margera part four interview out before the Lima one. Ideally, the BAM interview will come out this week. We're shooting for Thursday, but I really, I don't even like to say what dates I'm shooting for because anything can happen whenever you're doing these edits and all this stuff is going on, especially because at any given time, we have a lot of other videos in production. So the plan is to get it out Thursday and that will be ambitious to get it out Thursday, but that is really what we want to do. So that's what we're hoping to do. Yeah, I guess this is just going to be a short video today. I mean... I really don't have much else to say on the matter. I'm going to let the interview speak for itself. But the gist is that I think Bam seemed a lot better. He seemed a little bit happier. He definitely did not seem like he had been drinking at all. We did also speak a little bit about his sobriety, about his recovery and all of that. And I asked him straight up, does he want to stop drinking? He will be answering that question. I'm going to let him speak for himself in the interview that's going to be coming out. But yeah, I mean, I would say that the last time that... I interviewed Bam, you know, for the part three that's already aired and the where he called his parents and all that. When he left my house that day, I felt just kind of unresolved, like nothing seemed really certain. And then after that, all this stuff happened with the law and the cops and the Jess Margera and the Steve-O and the parents and the this, that, and the other. And it kind of had me feeling a little like anxious and on edge, I guess, a little bit. But this time I feel good and happy and I mean, Bam did mention some things that put me on a little bit high alert and y'all will see what I mean in the video. And I did tell him my opinions on it, which y'all will also see in the video. But in general, it does seem like Bam is in a lot more control of his own life. It seems like he is starting to become more clear headed and he's starting to head into the direction of taking control and authority over his own life and his own recovery and his own sobriety and things like that. So yeah, that's what happened. I feel great about it. It was a wonderful, lovely little meetup. And I'm looking forward to showing y'all that interview, hopefully this week. Also, make sure y'all watch my music video because that's now having to go on the back burner so I could prioritize this. But anyway, that's all I really had for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina K. Bye.